schon los? Mhm. Uh, welcome to the official IBU press conference after women's individual here at World Championships in Neumisto. With us as the medalist, gold medalist Lisa Vitozzi of Italy, silver medalist Janina Hetich Waltz of Germany, and bronze medalist Julia Simon of France. Lisa, it's, it's a gold and it's the first one. How does it feel finally? Yeah, uh, it's uh, a really, it's really amazing, and uh, it's it's my first individual um, gold medal in the World Champions, so I'm really happy, and uh, I think uh, today was my day. Uh, I did uh, a perfect race, and uh, yeah, I felt very well on the track, so everything went perfect. And where, where would you say it's this small difference between silver and gold? Is it mental or what needs to click to be a gold? The difference? Between silver and the gold medal. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's not, uh, it's a big difference. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, it's, um, uh, it's di on a different sensation and uh, yeah. Now I, I felt very well, <laughs> and uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. But um, beyond the top, it's uh, something amazing. And when you started, we saw you had some small issues in the first prone. What was happening, and how did you stay cool even with these small problems? Uh, yes, I had a, pro a problem with the magazine, and uh, the the bullets um, was a little bit down and uh, not perfectly perfectly for enter the in the in the rifle so i have to uh go back and uh, say something to uh, uh, do something for adjust uh, this uh, this thing and uh, yeah i um lost a, a little bit of time but uh, i try to not think about the time and uh, just remain as quiet as possible and it, five years ago, you won your first medal uh, at the World Championships, also in individual in Östersund. And a lot has happened in these seasons. How do you see it today, knowing that you went through a deep crisis and now you are on, on top of the world? Yeah, uh, all, all the things that happened after what happened two years ago, it's... Um, it's something new, it's something different, and uh, I, I enjoy every, every single, um, um, re not revenge, but uh, yeah, I, I enjoy the, the biathlon in the every ways, and uh, I, I don't feel the pressure, I just uh, do uh, what I like to do, and um, I don't think about the result. For sure, I want to win, but everyone, everyone wants to win. So I just uh, had have a, a new um, uh, I don't know what to say, but a uh, new new version of me. <laughs> I enjoy your gold medal, and thank you. Thank you, uh, Janina. It's uh, your first 2020 of the season. For you are, of course, first individual medal at the World Championships. What are the emotions right now? Yeah, it's incredible. I still... Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's incredible. I uh, still can't really believe that uh, this happened. Um, we had some hard days in the team the last days, and I'm really happy and proud that I can win this medal for the whole German team. This is also your first podium, and of course you've never been in the position to shoot for the medal. How did you prepare through the last loop before the last shooting to keep your focus sharp? Yeah, I had um, in this season sometimes a situation that I came to the last shooting and um, missed some targets and then the podium was away. But uh, today I try to focus on myself to uh, not think about what can happen, just take my time to do good hits. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy that this worked today. And how was the last loop? You knew also two other Germans shot 2020. What information did you get and what pushed you? 
Yeah, I had, I had information that uh, Julia is about uh, 12 seconds behind me and I was really afraid of her. <laughs> but I tried to uh, give my best, um, everything I have. And um, yeah, I was really happy when I saw that I'm on second position in the finish. You said it was a not an uh, easy week for the whole German team. Tomorrow there is no women's race, so will you take time to celebrate or what do you do tonight? Yeah, I don't really know now, right now <laughs> what we do in the evening, um, but there are some more races to come and um, yeah, tomorrow the fingers are crossed for the boys. I think I'm the best example that um, yeah, sprint and pursuit was not the best, but uh, it can change from one day to another. Truly well done. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Julia, it took a perfect race today to win, but still, how did you see your race? It was just one miss. It was still extremely good race. Yeah, I'm really happy with my, my race. Individual uh, not uh, the best race for me, but uh, I learned a lot on this race, and I'm really happy to be on the podium uh, of an individual in World Champ. It's never easy to be in a podium, and uh, especially in World Champ. So... Uh, it's a lot. Uh, it was uh, really tough to sleep uh, these last few days, so I'm really happy to manage this, uh, to, have, to save some energy and uh, to be on the podium again. It's an incredible feeling. We, we, I think everyone works for it and everyone wants to live this moment, so i just uh, so thankful to everyone who helped me to, to be on the podium again today. And coming into the last shooting, you probably knew that Lisa cleared 20. So you knew probably you need to do 20. Did it put any extra pressure on your last shoot or you just stayed in your world? I was really focused and I didn't know that uh, Lisa should, uh, should clean, but yeah, I can guess. <laughs> like, uh, or not always, but a lot of the time <laughs> she should clean. So I was just uh, focused on myself, you know, that uh, my Lou, uh, my teammate was just in front of me and um, I know that she was uh, fast and I saw, uh, each uh, shooting of her, so I was uh, just uh, like, uh, oh, you really need to stay focused, Julia, don't, don't watch Lou and uh, stay in your race. And uh, yeah, it's a, it was a really good race, only one mistake, sometimes it's too much for a podium, but today it's, it was enough and I'm really happy. And before tomorrow's race, you are the only athlete with all four possible medals, three gold. Of course, the expectations go even crazier. How do you keep the noise out of your head and I keep the energy. Um, of course, it's uh, tough to sleep after a race like this. So uh, I try to, um, yeah, to save some energy uh, to sleep uh, during the day. And uh, you know, of course, everyone have some tough, um, some yeah. I try just to manage all this feeling when I'm on the shooting range when I'm on my ski. To, to be uh, to live the the moment and to think about uh, what I have to do and nothing else and uh, I think uh, it's the most important thing of course my my shape are, are not uh, the best one I, especially in the last lap but uh, I feel uh, that I still have some energy and I feel uh, really great so I can't wait for next race. So will the next race be single mixed relay or you don't know yet? I don't know yet I have to talk with. Uh, my coach, and uh, we will see. And uh, you know, when you are an athlete, you always want to to put a, to put a bit bomb and uh, to go. But sometimes you need someone with more experience and uh, yeah, to to talk and uh, to say, okay, Julia, uh, maybe my feeling is that uh, you are a bit tired. You need some uh, you need some uh, some rest, or to say, okay, let's go, let's do do this uh, one more time. Uh, you are in good shape, and uh, so we will see uh, what uh, will happen in the next day. Then have a good rest and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions in English? Thank you. Thank you.